I noticed some really soggy ground around this sprinkler head right here. At first I thought the head was leaking, but once I dug down, I realized I had a broken tee. Lucky for me, Pipe Dream makes these slip tees that'll help me get back up and running. I'm Alfred Castillo, the Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. Let's get started. When you cut out an existing tee to replace it, you're left with a gap that's too big to just drop in another tee. You could get a coupling and some extra pipe and make it work, but a Pipe Dream slip tee eliminates all that extra hassle. To use the Pipe Dream slip tee, we'll need to be cutting a section out of the pipe that is four inches wide. No more, no less. So if you need to remove more than four inches to cut out an existing tee, you'll need to get one of our interlock slip pipe fix tees. You can find those in our Sprinkler Warehouse web store. For this repair, you're gonna need a hacksaw or pipe cutter, a Pipe Dream slip tee, a pencil or marker, PVC primer and cement. This particular Pipe Dream tee is three quarter inch by three quarter inch with a half inch riser. If you forgot your measuring tape, no problem. Pipe Dream printed the length of gap you need to cut right on the fitting. They've also marked the first end that needs to go on when you're installing the slip tee. Cut out this section. I highly recommend getting a PVC pipe cutter. While you could use a hacksaw, a pipe cutter will make quick work and a clean cut. If you do use a hacksaw, remember to clean the burrs off of your cut with a piece of sandpaper and make sure there are no shavings in the pipe which could clog up your sprinkler heads. The sprinkler head is still good, so I'm going to reuse it and the nipple riser. Apply primer and cement to the outside of the pipe you're repairing on both sides of your cut and on the inside of both ends of the pipe dream slip tee. Now slide the longer end of the tee onto the pipe and then slide it back toward the other piece of pipe until you meet the internal stop. Work quickly because you don't want to let the cement set up on you. If you dilly-dally before you slide the repair fitting back, you're going to end up with a fitting glued and a two inch gap to deal with. Also, make sure you're working with fresh cement. PVC cement starts to set up once you've opened the can. So if you're thinking you're going to use that can you still have sitting in your garage on the shelf from when you originally installed your sprinkler pipes, Think again, you're headed for misery. Let's just get a new can, trust me. Now let's sprinkle her head and let's give it a go. I'll just fill in this hole and I'll be done. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs so that your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. And if you have any questions, give us a call or chat with one of our spectacular customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the most out of our user-friendly Shop and Compare web store. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Alfred Castillo, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro.